Year in and year out, the United Nations passes a resolution condemning the human rights abuses in North Korea and calling for change. But the recent execution of the second most powerful man in the North fresh in their minds, the UN General Assembly passed another one this week. Our Shin Semin reports. The United Nations does not approve of the death penalty under any circumstances and is urging North Korea to release the tens of thousands of people who are being held as political prisoners. In a resolution adopted by consensus Wednesday, the UN General Assembly criticized the North Korean regime for its human rights abuses. It said Pyongyang is violating the civil, political, economic and social rights of its people. This latest resolution follows the execution of Chang Song Tech earlier this month. The United Nations has taken a very clear position that uh, under any circumstances, the United Nations is opposed to the imposition of a death penalty. Uh, this is a very uh, fundamental uh, human rights issues. A North Korean delegate responded to the resolution by calling it a, quote, fabrication concocted by hostile forces. The resolution on human rights abuses is a regular occurrence each year and is designed to put more pressure on the North Korean regime. But it also holds no legal consequences. Yoan Secretary General Pan Ki-moon also warned that parties surrounding the Korean peninsula must be vigilant and tread carefully so as not to do anything impulsive. The General Assembly also adopted resolutions on Syria and Iran, expressing serious concerns about the human rights violations in those countries. But it welcomed recent pledges made by new Iranian President Hassan Rouhani to improve in some areas of human rights. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.